Hey guys, um, this is Robert Wilkins. Uh, thank you for being here and enjoying us. Uh, one of the things that we're going to talk about today is uh, how I come up with ideas. Uh, first of all, let me tell you, uh, ideas, ideas are everywhere. Um, in everything, in books, in stories, in songs, literally, actually, even in life. Uh, one of the things that I do is that as you go through life, as you go through a morning, as you go through just your everyday situations, there's a story being told. So one of the things that I do, I have about 20 or 30 books like this, and I literally put my ideas down. The funny thing is that uh, uh, I've realized that in the near future, I will not be able to finish my ideas and that's really funny because now I'm actually selecting ideas that are worthy of being paint, painted. Um, the idea that you have right behind me right now has, has to do with an art show that I was invited to. It's a 300 celebration here in San Antonio, Texas and uh, they asked me if I would do a piece and this is the piece that I did and this is kind of one of the ideas right here uh, that I actually uh, did for that. And they're really simple they're kind of a thought held in a piece of paper. Uh, that might not mean much to you, but uh, when I explain it to you, you'll understand it. So with this idea, let me show you. With this idea, one of the things that I wanted to do, it's 300 years of life and 300 years of death that's in the past. So I wanted to basically do it that you're looking at it from the graveyard. So my story was, it's 300 years of Texas history. So I'm gonna, these are the books, and I'll talk some, uh, some, about some other ideas, but let me just show you this painting. So um, Texas has Indian history. Okay. As you can see, the Indian back here. It has slavery. Uh, uh, slaves were used. It has uh, tech, uh, Mexicans or Indians, Tejanos. The, a combination. Tejanos. Huh? Tejanos, right? Tejanos. Um, it has um, it has Texans uh, Texans that were uh, sublimated to 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 Texas by uh, the Spaniards, and they stayed here. It has uh, part of the Americans. Uh, oh, this is Texas, Texas flag, and this United States flag, and in here is the Mexican flag. Now the thing is, there's a lot of skulls here. Uh, Day of the Dead is part of my heritage. But in here, you're looking into, into a graveyard, and you're looking at the past, what we've gone through, the blood that's been spilled on the ground that you're literally standing, if you're a Texan, if you're literally standing here in Texas. Love, love, uh, religion, uh, looking for the key of life, death, um, aviation, uh, you know, birth. And then the snake is the Mex part of the Mexican and just some of the atrocities that we've created here. Um, if you look at this eagle, uh, Lincoln, uh, lynchings, everything that we've done and just the production, good and bad. So this is one story of, of me creating, this is a big piece as you can tell, I'm about 6'2", so this is about 7 feet. Um, and this is, this is done with some of the techniques that I've been teaching you, and you superimpose them. Ideas are really important. You might not get to them, but putting these ideas on paper allow you, as as time passes and as your skills basically increase, you will be able to put them on paper. But these books are really important to me. Um, I carry these. Uh, I carry these everywhere. I have them two, three in my van. I have them on uh, my nightstands. Hell, I even have them in the bathroom. Uh, but I'm always drawing, uh, yeah, this wasn't in the bathroom. Uh, I'm always drawing um, ideas, and uh, these are some of them. We're going to talk about some more ideas here in the next couple of minutes, so give me a sec, okay? okay. One, of the things, one of the things about ideas that we were talking about earlier is I, I kind of collect them in these books. Um, but one of the things that you guys have to also understand is that ideas come from everything. And I mean everything. Most unfortunate, most of us do not look for ideas. And when I say we don't look for ideas, is that 
you're not necessarily aware that they're there because you're not looking. One of the things that I've done for myself personally, um, uh, about the about seven eight years ago, I decided to start to start uh, forcing myself to listen to audiobooks. Actually, maybe a little longer than that. Um, audiobooks to me are really important, and uh, I listen to all types of audiobooks from historical biographies. Uh, uh, novels, uh, uh, sci-fi, uh, historical novels, um, and I picked one up. And this, this, this is it's uh, the book is actually from India, and it's called The White Tiger. Okay, and uh, the thing is that in India they have what they call a caste system, and, I, and if you don't really understand what that is, I'll explain. But the caste system is basically when you're born, when you're born into a caste. That's what you are for the rest of your life. So if you're a garbage collector, you're going to be that for the rest of your life, and you can't get out of it. The story goes, the story goes that the uh, that this boy was tired of being part of this cast. He wanted more of life, and the thing is, he was always looking for a key. In the act of always looking for a key, he was he would hobnob with the rich. He would he would do whatever it took to get to the next level. And what he comes to find out is he doesn't need a key. And the door was always open. And one of the things that I find in life is that most all of you have the potential of creating. Uh, but it's much easier for you to turn around to say, I have an incredible gift. And the most unfortunate part is it's a bunch of balarkey. The truth of the matter is that when I was born, and after the placenta was out, an easel didn't come out of my mom. Okay, I was not born an artist, I became an artist. And most all of you say that due to the fact that it's easy, easier for you to say that just to justify, just to justify that you can't do it. So the thing is, everybody's looking for a key, uh, Christianity, uh, uh, Hindu, uh, Hindu, uh, Jewish, all these religions, patriotism, and and the thing is, there is no door. The door is open. Okay, so all you have to do is go through it. Now I got this idea uh, from the book. It's called The White Tiger. I I put it together, and this is the image that I got. But personally, this is what it means. Everybody sits there and wants to attribute, attribute a gift to me, and I work really hard. And this is, there's no, there's no door. So all you have to do is go through it and believe that you can get there. And all the scatters of all these ideas that you have to be born, uh, you, you, I've seen, anyways. Uh, so anyways, this is, the door is not locked. You, all you have to do is go through it. So. Uh, we have one more, guys. So, well, guys, this is this is a pallet. You guys might be thinking, "What the hell am I holding it up for?" Um, sometimes, when the pallet is like this for a while, it dries up, and uh, there's a lot of paint that's wasted. And uh, I have a, I'm kind of don't like to waste. So, one of the things that I do, and some of these ideas that I've come up with, I'm going to show you right now, is that I'll go ahead and take this dry paint. I'll put this down here and I'll take it and I'll take it to a canvas and I'll literally rub, uh, uh, get my palette knife and, and literally put the dry paint on this canvas. And so um, some of the stuff that uh, I've done with this, I've done some portraits which I'm to show you, um, but I take this, this old paint and I build it up and, and then I'll take it and I'll make some paintings like this and it has a lot of paint. I'm going to cross the, the thing but, yeah, go ahead. but uh, I, I take it and uh, I take it and I post of this thing and I put this old paint and then I come back and then do these paintings on this uh, and I'll tell a story but this is all that paint that's not thrown. Take a look at this, it's really cool. There's a lot of little details but you can do some really great stuff. Um, but uh, but this is uh, this is just 
taking, being creative with my materials. Um, and you can see some of the most beautiful stuff that you can do. I'm going to show you some portraits that I've actually done uh, in this style as well. I'm going to grab one here in a few seconds. Um, but uh, your creativity, your creativity is everywhere, uh, lends itself to making mistakes, lends itself to uh, coming up with ideas that nobody's thought of, of and let, lends itself to really just uh, creating some great pieces of artwork. Give me a second here, I'll be back in a few minutes and I'll bring you another painting. So, this is a portrait that I've done uh, with, uh, with the same tech, uh, with the same palette knife, um, you can see the richness that it has. Uh, art now is taking a different form, but a lot of people want uh, more texture, and it sells. Uh, this is just some of the crazy stuff that I come up with. Ideas are everywhere. Uh, most of us just have to be attentive to look and to put them down and to let them ferment, and you can come up with some great concepts, great ideas. So, uh, anyways, this is some of the technical uh, creativity that I've done. Um, they're really, it's a heavy paint, you can see it uh, the side view. And, uh, okay. But anyways, so I'm always exploring. Uh, I'm, I'm always coming up with ideas. Some of them work and some of them don't. Uh, part of the most incredible thing is is exploring and then doing stuff that, uh, that nobody's ever seen. The truth of the matter is if you do something really new, <laughs> everybody's not going to like it because they're uncomfortable with it. Okay, Give it enough time and it can be like a Jackson Pollock, an Andy Warhol. Uh, a Picasso. So create, have fun, enjoy. Remember, this is a journey. Uh, and guys, subscribe and thank you very much for everything. I appreciate you guys. You have a great day.